I just smell like cereal. Did you get into the cereal box? Well, who was that? Who's that? Two kittens on my bed, not fighting. Oh, this is a first. Oh, kittens. There's a fox on this path. I don't want him to see me. There was a load of kids here last night, yeah. Yeah, they were nice children. Yeah? But there was a crowd over there then. That yeah, they had like a dog and... There. And one of them had a puncture. And he was trying to... He was, there he was, trying to mend the puncture, you know? A bike? On a, on a bike? On a bicycle, yeah. yeah. And um, he had a puncture repair kit and he had a pump. And they were really good, you know? Ah. Oh. And the rowing club has just arrived there as well. So we managed to... Get a lovely swim in. Morning. these newly mended socks today. Let's see how they go. It seems really comfortable. I'm just lying down for um, half an hour just after a swim. It's looking pretty good, huh? Well, pretty crappy, but fine. What do you think, Beans? Pretty good. did my exercises. Are you proud? You know, it's a hard life living with this little thing, isn't it? <laughs> kitten! Oh, there's a kitten. Attack, attack. Oh, I just fixed that. <laughs> so I'm going to um, make um some vegan what's the word tofu scramble and i'm going to use some bits and bobs that i have collected this oops this is the most important one this is um himalayan black salt and i got this entire tub for like two euro or something ridiculous um from the nature's hand inside and it smells it has like a sulfury eggy smell um and it's also like salty really tasty i have some mushrooms that i need to use up and i have some organic tofu i've used half of it and uh, it's a firm tofu you can use the silk and stuff as well but the firm one's nice and i've got some spinach i'm gonna throw in as well um i've also got this thing 
which isn't great on its own but when you mix it in with all the rest of it it kind of ha it makes a nice little um kind of uh, it gloops stuff together so it looks like eggs so it's got protein it's cholesterol free and it's a source of fiber what's in it chickpea flour maize flour vegetable gums uh, methyl cellulose carrageenan vegetable protein carrageenan is um seaweed and it's like a oh, what's that word where it makes things gel together yeah um vegetable protein dextrose from maize salt turmeric raising agent calcium carbonate and garlic powder that's what's in that oh, you can't read it because it's too blurry okay so i'm going to use that um a little bit of garlic or a little bit of black pepper and tarragon yum i love this with eggy things and maybe a tiny bit of mustard just for the crack okay little um this mug is gorgeous isn't it i got it made by um remembrances pottery natalie and it's absolutely beautiful i've actually got two because i'm the luckiest girl on earth and um it makes me feel super special so i'm just having my little foamy coffee because i still haven't got my nice um nice oat milk I need to go across today so what's happening today is um, I am um, we are going up to or we're, we're going to go camping this weekend with my parents myself and James are going to go um, to a campsite I'm not sure where um, it's basically a trial run James has just been put on the insurance so we're going to um, go for a little trip and James is going to get practice driving the camp van. So I need to make up some food. I need to cook some food for the weekend uh, to bring with us. Now I have loads of potatoes, so I might do like a potato salad. Um, what else could I do? I might do maybe a rice salad with beans, rice and beans. Um, yeah. Mm. that's really nice sometimes I can go a bit overboard with the salt that's nice now lovely three by five a day in there and plenty of protein as well I have to stop and lie down. I've done too much this morning and it's half 11. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be fine. Cross. You know when you just, you've had lunch, but you just, can't stop grazing. Apparently, the elbow is the tastiest bit. Oh, you're gonna stop eating me now. Literally, she's been nibbling on my elbow. Look at that innocent face. It's lies. Watch it now, the second I, I take this away, I'm just going to go back to the elbow nibbles. I knew it. <sighs> oh, 
I spent all afternoon downloading, um, I don't know, there's something wrong with my iCloud or something, or, or I'm running out of room on my phone to store film, which I suppose makes sense. I, I do a lot of filming on my phone. Um, and my, um, yeah, for some reason it was taking ages to download the the warping videos, which I just took two days ago. So I didn't get much filming done during the day, but I didn't really do much apart from weave and lie down. I did do my exercises, but because the film was, no, I'm not lying. I did do my exercises for a second time, but I, my phone was in the middle of downloading stuff, so I couldn't actually film it, but I did do it. So. And at the moment I am cooking up curry and potatoes. And I'm using Shamika's spices. So Shamika, when she came over to Woolen, she brought a ton of beautiful spices. So this is turmeric, or this is curry powder, um, some cumin, oh, delicious. Gira. Gira or gira? Anyway. Um, so that's uh, turmeric, or cumin. Am, am, amsar masala which is coriander, black cumin, mustard, cumin, spices, yum. So just loads of loads and loads and loads of gorgeous spices because, um, yeah, Shamika and her mommy make the best curry on earth. So here's my little curry. I'm, I've thrown in some kale. I've thrown in some um, dry soy chunks, which sounds very tasty. But um, yeah, I, you, I just uh, rehydrated them in, it's just dried soy, really. I just rehydrated them in some water and some oil and some spices, um, garlic, salt, and this thing, which is a chicken and steak seasoning. But it doesn't actually have any chicken and steak in there. It's just onion, garlic, chili, and coriander. So it's already in there, so it's nice. And I threw in some kale and spinach and some green beans from the garden and a, a tin of tomatoes in on top of it and I'm thinking of throwing the rest of this yogurt because it's going to be you know it's only a little bit left so I might throw that in near the end just so it doesn't split and we're going to take that with us tomorrow when we're going camping with my mum and dad so we were going to be going this evening but because of um, cat sitting duties and um, Anyway, we're going tomorrow instead, which is fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're going to head to the beach. We're not sure which beach. We're going to go south. So either Kerry or West Limerick beaches. So yeah, I don't know if West Limerick has beaches. Is it all Kerry? Where's my maps? <laughs> I have maps all over the world, but I just can't seem to think. Bally Bunyan, is that Limerick or is that Kerry? I don't know. I've been there so many times, but, you know, only, ma only matters when you're hurling, so. So, um, yeah, that's my plan for the evening is just um, make, make up some food for tomorrow. I'm going to do mashed potatoes and um, salad and I might do some I might, I, I'm making a lot of potatoes I tend to do that I make way too much which is perfect for when you're going on camping with those people because then you can feed everybody at the same time um, so yeah I'll probably do half mash and half potato salad no raisins in the potato salad <laughs> so um, yeah it'll just be fairly standard Yum. I have my wine. This wine is open for too long, but it's the only wine I have. It's not very nice. Campo Viejo in the Rioja region. Now, I actually walked through this region when I went and did the Camino. <gasps> Let me tell you about this. Stuart, if you're ever watching, I you sometimes do watch the vlogs. So Stuart and Patty were two, um, or a couple that we hosted. They're from Washington State, I think. Um, yeah, or Oregon. 
I don't know, but um, he gave us one of these hand turned uh, wine cork things, and I have kept it with me for ten years. Is it ten years since you visited? It's still being used today, so that's great. <laughs> I only have a few things with me from when I travelled. Um, you know, from when I travelled, I have one spatula which I use over and over and over again I don't know where it is now oh it is here this is a spatula that I've had for 15 years it's my favorite thing oh this and this and it's actually like there's a there's a notch out of it because I've actually melted it a few times but like amazing do you know some things you just use over and over and over again like I only think I use three pans in my entire kitchen I could get rid of a load of nonsense we've got a juicer down there we never use and if you want a juicer you can have it because we got it for free and we never use it so, you know. anyway that's the kitchen talk um, I've not been doing any knitting I've just been doing the weaving so I'm sorry if the vlog is pretty light on like actual creative content but it, I am creating just food and uh, weaving but I will put a bit of weaving into this vlog um, because I'll have the it's just there was so much in yesterday's that um, there was just so much weaving that I had to split it up because it was like walking and all the rest of it as well so um yeah so i'm probably gonna leave it there actually oh have i been blocking the speaker this whole time <laughs> oh my mum came over and she had coffee and we did a little bit of strimming and there's some beautiful fuchsia that uh, just were, was peeking through the hedge so we just um snipped them off and now i've got a little fuchsia bouquet which is quite cute so now i hope you enjoy your evening um, it's Friday and tomorrow is Saturday so we'll be away for the weekend so I'll show you some of that it depends on signal now if I'm able to upload but we'll see bye also can't believe I forgot Tour de Fleece starts tomorrow have you got your plan do you know what you're doing let me know down below if you're going to be joining in myself and Jane of So Perfect Pearls um, she's a a podcaster as well she does amazing spinning weaving and uh, knitting as well she's glorious her photography is amazing and um yeah we're hosting it over in her group over in ravelry so if you want to pop over there and check in um there'll be a it's very casual there's no there's no rules apart from if you want to join you can um it's a self self-guided challenge for yourself to spin during the Tour de Fleece or Tour de France. So Tour de Fleece runs the same time as Tour de France, including like rest days and challenge days and everything. And uh, have a look at the first video um, in my July vlog series uh, for all the details on that. And you'll get all the information about where you can join. Uh, the hashtag is um, Babbling Pearls TDF. And you should totally use it if you're spinning and I'll be pulling some prizes off of that. You can see the prizes as well back in that first video as well. I think it's called Babbling Pearls Tour de Fleece. So that's pretty cool. I'll put the link down below if I can remember. So bye. <laughs>